Hi, my name is Rich Kettner. Welcome to Starting Night Guitars. I'm going to show you my new Eastman T64. For starters, here's the case. It has this beautiful case. I don't know if you can really see it. It's kind of almost like a suede instead of the uh, Tolex or vinyl. A really nice handle. Eastman tag and to be honest I don't usually use their cases because I have reunion blues gig bags for this guitar and my fully hollow guitar but I may use it for this one because the case is so nice so here's the guitar one two three there's a fourth latch fifth latch da, 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 da. here's the guitar again T64 beautiful beautiful guitar so let me get this out. All right, so here's a closer view of this guitar. Um, the whole name, let me show you this, is, well, it says T64V, but it's also T64V GB. I think v, the V is antique varnish, I believe. GB stands for gold burst. So I don't know how well the, camera's going to pick this up, but Eastman has a couple of guitars. The T59 was the same, where it has kind of this relic look, but not like some Fenders or some guitars I've seen look like it's been tied to a bumper and dragged behind a vehicle, right? Like, looks so unrealistic. This is very tastefully done. You can see up here, and this has more of them than my T59 did. Also on the back, so you can see this. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up. There it is. And also here on the back, there's like some like, like buckle rash, I don't know if it's picking it up in there. But it's really tastefully done. Um, that's not a selling point for me. I don't care about the relicking. That's not why I buy the guitar. As I mentioned, I wanted a lighter guitar, and this is super light. It might be five and a half pounds, maybe. Fully hollow, more like a Gibson 330. Has Lawler dog ear pickup. I think that's what it's called, dog ear. I have a Godin Fifth Avenue Kingpin single pickup that had a P90, and I really loved that. That was my first guitar with P90s, and uh, I'm very pleased with these. So, what I want to do in this video, which is different than other videos, I see a lot of folks demoing these guitars, but then they're playing with delay or a lot of reverb, or even with dirt on the guitar. It's like, I want to hear the guitar itself. And the selling point for me, which I'd like to do, demonstrate for you, and I'll stop talking, is what it sounds like unplugged. It's really, a good bit of volume. So here you go. So you could sit around and just sit, you know, on the couch and play this guitar and be able to hear it. Where my T59, there was very little sound, no acoustic kind of sound, and uh, plays beautiful. Now, I've only had it for four or five days. Initially, what I'm noticing that's different, I believe the neck might be a little more narrow than my T59 was. Uh, it's a beautiful fingerboard, very comfortable. The frets are dressed beautifully. Same kind of tuners, I think the close and they look kind of antiqued, right? Seem to work fine for me. As I mentioned, the Lawler pickups, big fan, really liking that. Again, I love how light it is. Also, uh, things I'm noticing that are different, the placement of the neck pickup is affecting where I play. I think on my other guitar, if it's sitting here, I'd be picking here. I made a video a day or two ago, and I was picking right on top of this, I had some clicking noise, either hitting this pickup or touching the pick guard. I play, when I play with the pick, kind of like this. So I tend to have my pinky kind of anchoring as I float across the pick guard. So I'm gonna have to scoot back a bit, I think, to play. But um, very, very nice. Also, um, 
I won't say a downside, just something I've noticed, it's so vibrant, being hollow, there are some vibrations. I can play certain things, and you maybe heard it in this video, I'm not sure we came across through my phone. You hit certain notes or certain frequencies, and different things vibrate. Now, I've worked on that. I put a, some kind of piece of felt under the pick guard, as well as down here at the base of the trapezoid piece, you know, tailpiece, and uh, that muffled some of it. I talked to the guy I bought it from, and he said that's kind of the nature of the beast with these guitars. They're so vibrant. Sometimes a wire inside can rattle or something. So I'm going to give it some time, and I really hear it when I'm playing acoustic like this. If I see an amp, I'm not hearing. I'm certainly not hearing it through the amp. I can maybe still feel the vibration, but I don't really want to do anything about it. And to let you know, I got this guitar from Guitars and Jazz, placed in Summit, New Jersey. The owner is a guy named Lou, Lou Dorasso. Very helpful. I bought, I think this is now my third guitar I bought from this guy. I bought an AR371, which was kind of their answer to Gibson ES175. And that was, wow, eight years ago, nine years ago. I bought it for like 750 bucks. Loved it. Great guitar. The finish wasn't great. Excuse me, in those early guitars, but it played very nice. And I later sold that. Then I bought, uh, I had a semi, I had a T386 that I bought used on eBay. Sold that to upgrade to the T59V, which I bought from Lou. Gorgeous guitar. Had some of that kind of relicing like this. Not as much as this guitar, but played like a dream. And I only sold that to buy this. And I also bought a, a John Pisano 380. And they have a, well now they have four models, a 380, 680, 880, and I think that's two pickups. I think the single pickup is the 480. I'm not sure, um, but mine has two pickups. So my point is I bought three of the guitars at least from Blue. Great service. I highly recommend them. So it may be kind of scary to buy a guitar where you haven't played it. I live in Southern Arizona. There are no Eastman dealers around me. So there's no opportunity to put my hands on the guitar and play them. So when I bought the AR371, you know, just by faith, it was great. No issues. Same with the T59V. So I felt safe getting this one. And um, man, I love it. It is definitely a keeper. So I will do a video in the future where I'll plug it in so you can hear what it sounds like. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous guitar. And I think my quest has ended. I think I found my dream guitar right here. And uh, really super happy. So hope you heard something here that might have been of value to you. Look forward to hearing your comments. Also, if anyone out there owns a fully hollow guitar like this and you've had issues with rattling and vibrations and you have any solutions, please post comments because I'm trying to think about what I might be able to do down the road. But all the best. God bless. Enjoy the journey. Take care.